Major Slack Attack. Well, yeah, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more Skyrim Combat Archer Overdrive. And like I said in the previous video, <clears throat> pardon me, I want to level up to level 59. And we're going to be able to do this a lot faster than you might think. Two methods we're going to use primarily. One is the Salmon Row method, and the other one is the Go Get Whacked by a Giant method. Let's do the first one because it's a lot more profitable, and it's a lot faster. It's a lot more fun. Um, this is where, um, first of all, you need the Hearthfire DLC installed or Skyrim Special Edition, which will add the ability to farm or gather Salmon Row from jumping salmon that you see in streams. What's so special about Salmon Row? It's like Salmon Row plus garlic plus Nordic Barnacle makes by far the most valuable potion you can make in Skyrim. It's insane how, how valuable these potions are. And if we collect enough ingredients, about 40 of each, we can declare Alchemy Legendary which will drop her all the way back down to 15 and then just simply power level it up all the way back up to 100 in about 15 minutes flat if we have all the ingredients. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna make a ton of valuable potions, we're gonna make a ton of valuable merch that we could use to sell, to buy uh, alchemy training and, um, and whatever you like. This is gonna be made a lot easier by some of the gear that we already have, one of which is Azadol's Boots of Water Walking. Okay, this is gonna be very important. So everyone's got this, if you're following the walker, bring along this, and everyone's got Volsung, which allows us to breathe, <coughs> pardon me, breathe underwater. So you got those two along? All right, let's go do it. We're gonna start with, this is a two-step operation, collecting the ingredients and then declaring Alchemy Legendary and making the potions. Let's go back to the mainland. The best place to start is at the Guardian Stones. Salmon are often seen jumping in rapids. Basically, the idea is you have to kill them while they're jumping. Or, as I showed you way back at the beginning of the Combat Archer Vanilla walkthrough, um, let's just put on her water walking boots now. There we go, walking on water here, boss. <laughs> as I demonstrated way back at the beginning of the Combat Archer Vanilla walkthrough, um, Gina, she's a wood elf, and she can use her command animal power to instantly farm salmon roll from jumping salmon. It's insane. It's really powerful. So right here you see a whole bunch of jumping salmon. Let me just show you there. You see that? Maybe not. Okay, we got some doggies here. Let's just gun them down. And the bunny rabbit. Not the bunny rabbit slack. Yeah, the bunny rabbit. Oh yeah, and we're short on leather, so we gotta go collect this. That's a good idea. Should be a third one. There you go. See the salmon jumping? Basically the idea is you gotta kill them while they're jumping. You cannot just go into the water, swim around in the water, and catch salmon. That won't yield salmon roe. See, that just gives you salmon meat. You gotta kill them while they're jumping. And there's a number of ways you can kill them while they're, while they're jumping. You can use various shouts, and like I said, wood elves can use the command animal. And it's late in the day. Let's get some light on the subject because it's a lot easier to collect the salmon or when it's nice, bright sunlight. There you go. It's by way of demonstration. Let's say you wanted to do it manual. Let's say you didn't have the shout. You could go out right near where you see salmon jumping. And, oops. 
if you can get into position while one's jumping, let's see, one's jumping right there, and just spam the grab button while it's jumping, and you'll catch it in midair. Okay, see that one's jumping, so let's just spam the grab button. I get it? Let's try it again. See? Got it. See that? Upper left corner of the screen? Salmon row added. That's how you get salmon row. That's the hard way. We're going to do it the easy way. Let's just use command animal. And pretty much instantly kills all the salmon within a radius, a wide radius, and just go downstream and there they are. All the dead salmon that you see, collect them. Even if it's, there's a salmon row, but also collect the dead salmon that you see because they have salmon row too. And there's the other dog. Here's another one. Usually I get about 10 from this 9, so I'm missing one. Okay, let's just go downstream, see if it floated downstream. No, it did not. It could have gotten stuck up on the rocks up there. Let's see if I can use... No, I don't see it. No biggie. Close enough for rock and roll. You can also, in shallow water, actually shoot salmon with your bow. It only works sometimes though. And this is, it's really good to have the water rocking boots on because you can get right, right up close and just shoot them right in the water. But the water's gotta be shallow and fairly calm, otherwise it won't work. Here, here's my 10th one. There we go, got 10. Okay, next, hunting brew metery. The rapids here, tons of salmon jumping. The problem here is there's just too many rocks. So um, if you use command animal, the salmon row tends to get bunged up on the rocks and then you gotta like hunt all around all over for it. But uh, you can get a few. Or you could just go collect them manually, or you could use flames, because we have like, you know, flames cost us nothing. That's another way you can collect salmon, just by using flames. And blast them while they're jumping. I'm going to give it a shot with, uh, here, there's salmon right there, in shallow water. You get right up, especially with the water walking boots, and just shoot it with the bow. And I didn't expect this to work because it rarely works in this one. It, this always works down in this area here, solitude right in this area here. Is, that's perfect for shooting what I call shooting fish in a barrel. Yeah, no, here it doesn't work. Okay, let's see if we can use command animal on these guys jumping. And then we'll have to go downstream and see if we can collect them. <laughs> Oops, wrong one. <laughs> okay, 24 hours later. Command animals ready to go. This is probably a better spot to do it. Let's do it. See, they all stopped jumping. See that? They're all dead. So they're downstream somewhere. Like I said, though, there's too many rocks here. So you're going to have to go downstream and see if they collected. Here's a few. Yeah, 
Yeah, they got bunged up on the rocks. Let me see if I can find a few up here. There's one right down there. See, here's some here. See, there's three right there. There's another one. There's some more. There's another one. There's one right there. If I can just get it. There's some more. Somebody we got now. 18, excellent. Unfortunately, the green thumb perk does not work on collecting salmon in a row. So it's one for one. Is that one over there? Let's see if we can catch, shoot this one. No, the game won't let you. Here. Usually it's a solitude. Okay, that's this area done. There's some more here. Let's wait 24. Okay, 24 hours later. This is essentially the Skyrim version of fishing with dynamite. Let's try it again. Command animal. And they're all dead. And just have to go downstream. There's some right there. There's more there. Oh, lots. Lots. Good haul. There's some more. How many do we get? 28. Yeah, good haul. Yeah. Fishing with dynamite here, boss. No, I won't let you do it. So we got them all. Basically, the water's not calm enough. You can always tell when you got it when there's a bit, kind of a splash. There's another salmon. 29, excellent. Okay, next. Let's go for where we can actually fish by shooting fish in a barrel kind of thing. Go to solitude. Out the front door. Definitely wait till daytime. Here we go, and we gotta get down to the East Empire. Location. Fast way down there is just go here. Jump up here. Go way up on this peak here. Cool. Look at all the hawks. Awesome. Okay, here we go. Perfect. And hook up here, become ethereal. Shout. Quick stage just in case you bungle up. Bungle it up. Shout. And jump all the way down. Here is where you can use your water walking boots. It's a lot of fun. And just basically shoot fish in a barrel. Because the salmon here are like, they're pretty shallow and it's in calm water. Get out your bow. All the big fish, get right up close.
There we go. Got one. Collect it. You got yourself some salmon roll. Usually it's the big ones. There we go, more salmon roll. I don't think that's salmon. Oh, it is. Yeah. See, it's like they let you do it here. I guess because the water is calmer or something. Excellent. And we're up to 35 already. Almost there. Here's some more. Okay, I think this is fished out. Let's go to another location. The Windhelm Stables. The waterways around there. And let's wait till daytime. around here or over on this side is command animal ready to go again it's it is <clears throat> I don't think it works though in the calm water here's some right here yeah see it doesn't work you have to shoot them when you got salmon in calm water like this you have to shoot them here's one and I think I accidentally harvested one. Looks like they're a little too deep. Here's one. You can also do this from shore, but it's a lot harder because the salmon are a lot harder away, like a lot further away. How are we doing? 41, excellent. 42. 43. Okay, let's go upstream a bit. <laughs> that cracks me right up. There we go. Four. Forty-five. 
46. Okay, right here at Angus and Mill. There, <clears throat> there, there. Okay, we're gonna have to wait 24. 24 hours later. Command animals ready to go. This is kind of a crapshoot here though, I've noticed. Here, there's one. Anyways, we are almost at the target amount. 47. It's going for 50. There's still a few more lo locations to go to. Um, Riverside Shack. Yeah, I wonder if this... Uh Could be a predator here. Come on out there. Don't be a pussy. <laughs> okay. There's some salmon right there. Water walking boots on. Forty eight. You can also like catch these guys here too. Because some of these little guys, these little fish like his carp and whatnot, they can make some valuable potions too. What's that, 49? Almost there. We only need about between 35 and 40. I think 37 is the exact number we need to power level um, alchemy all the way back to 100. But let's get a few, get a, like, a bumper crop here. His carp. These guys are good too. A great way to fish. Oh no, you don't. Oh, nice dodge. <laughs> Fishing it up here, boss. Here, we can use command animal again. This should be more successful. Yeah, because it'd be easier to catch. Because let's wait 24. There you go, 24 hours later. Let's let it rip. Here we go. Tons. Tons. Good haul. Good haul. Here's some more on the on the shore there. 
That was a good score. We're way over uh, 57. Now, depending on how ambitious you are, you could potentially get enough salmon roe and garlic and Nordic barnacle to to level up alchemy twice over. Like, you know, declare it legendary twice. Depending on how ambitious you are, but uh, yeah. Okay, so there you go. Salmon roe fishing. Coming up next, we're going to go Nordic barnacle fishing. And this is going to take us underwater. And this is where the Volsung water, uh, breathing underwater um, capabilities is really going to come in handy. This thing here. All right. So that's that. And this is going to start off at Dawnstar. Let's go there now. Basically, you want to ride into Dawnstar, go down to the shore. And you're going to start off at the Dark Brotherhood's Ancestors alternate headquarters. The Dark, the Dawnstar Sanctuary. It's right along the shore here. Let's go to the north, showing the map where I am. Right there, just north of Dawnstar. Hug the shoreline and go around. Right here, Dawnstar Sanctuary. And wait till daytime. And all in this area here are tons of Nordic Barnacle. And I'm going to show you exactly where they all are. That's coming up next video. And I want to thank you all very much for watching. And if you thought this video was remotely entertaining and or informative, hey! Don't forget to give the old slacks your big old thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to make sure you get all my videos hot off the press. All right, see you next video. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1. That's all. That's all it takes. All right. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.